I just wanted to check in. Um, obviously today should have been the big bead show, but unfortunately due to the present situation, it isn't. So I just wanted to say hello. Um, hope you've all been doing plenty of beading while you've been stuck inside. Um, so I thought what I'd do is share with you some of the things I would have been sharing with you if I'd seen you at the big bead show today. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna just show you a project I've been working on. Um, it's actually a really old project. This featured in uh, Bead Magazine about six or seven years ago, maybe longer. Um, and it's a project that uses a uh, right angle weave and uh, faceted five polished beads and some pearls. Oh, I love this project. It's one I wear quite a lot. It's quite a weighty one though, and it's also uh, uses a lot of beads, so it can be a little bit expensive because they're fire polish. Um, so I was kind of looking at it one day and thought, oh, I love this project, but this was made before I discovered the amazing uh, stitch that is craw. And I thought, I wonder if this would work in craw um, and whether it would give it more stability. And why not use a cheaper um, material like a seed bead? Um, so I started playing with it and discovered that, yes, in fact, it does work. And in fact, it gives a very different effect to the original one. It's much more streamlined, so it's more wearable on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and it's much more affordable to make. So uh, this is what I'm working on. I'm also um, stitching a pink one at the moment. I've run out of beads. Ah, hoping they turn up soon. Um, so that's what I've been working on. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to release that um, within the next few days, um, depending how, how much time I get during nap times. Um, so that's what I've been working on. It, it's going to be a dual project. So you'll have the original right angle weave version and the craw version. I know not everyone loves craw, um, so I'm going to include both of those and you've got the option to use both types of materials. And then it's got the embellishment on the sides as you can see and it's it's nice and stable. It doesn't lose its shape at all. Um, so that's what I've been working on. Um, I'm also going through some of my older projects and revisiting them um, ones I haven't published on my website, but that might have been previously published in magazines. Um, so I'm going through those, and I've also got a whole heap of my cupboard that are, are part made. So um, hopefully I'll have some new projects out soon. Um, so do stay stay tuned for that. I also wanted to let you know about some other news. Um, so as you know, often at the Big Bead Show, uh, you'll find me on the Riverside Bead Stand, and we were supposed to be launching a brand new kit today. Um, but unfortunately, with everything happening, we decided to push it back. So I'm hoping we'll be able to launch it at the October show at the end of the year. So please stay tuned on that. It's I'm not I can't share you the actual projects right now, but what I'm going to tell you is it's part of the um, Riverside Beads Riverly Birthstone collection. So that gives you some idea of what it's going to be. Um, so stay tuned on that. Unfortunately, I'm like everyone else, I've had to cancel or postpone all of my classes for the next few months, um, which is a very strange feeling when you look ahead and see your calendar is is very empty. <laughs> I know everyone's in the same boat. Um, if you have booked onto classes or workshops with me, then um, do wait to hear from the organisers and, and they will be in touch in due course. Um, we're trying to postpone and move the classes where possible rather than completely cancel them. Um, so hopefully I will get to see you soon. Um, unfortunately, my bead group's been the same. Um, it just it wasn't feasible to keep running that at the moment. Um, but I'm hoping to do more videos and things like this so I can keep in touch with everyone. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it from me really. Please do keep in touch. Um, comment below, share your pictures. Let me know what you've been working on. Um, so that's it from me. Thanks. Bye.